everyone. As you know, the primaries are later today, so let's start with some review. Um, Billy, uh, what year was the California Gold Rush? Uh, uh, uh... It's also the name of a sports team. Oh, 1949! Close enough. Um, next question, what does KFC stand for? Is it a caramel frappuccino with chocolate syrup? I don't think they sell caramel frappuccino as a KFC. Um, that's enough review for today. As you know, the primaries are later today, and if we win, we get to move on to the Tri High School Trivia Tournament and have a chance at the grand prize, a trip to Jeopardy, where we play as a contestant. Oh, that sounds like fun! <laughs> and I'll finally have a chance to be reunited with my real father. I don't think Alex Trebek is your father. Okay, you sound like my mom, dude. What are we doing? I'll explain later. Sir, I am ready to serve. All right, let's go! So Billy, I'm gonna rely on you for the sports questions. And uh, Joe, what category are you good at again? I don't know. Uh, well, you can just help Billy. I don't know anything about sports. Uh, well, just provide moral support. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. Who are they? Oh, that's the Destiny Prep trivia team from across town. So you guys have located the enemy. The enemy? I don't know, Sarah. They don't look like the enemy. Maybe they're just a group of friends hanging out. De ninguna manera. Son los hijos del diablo que van al colegio al lado. She's right. That's no friend group. That's a Destiny Prep Trivia Club. Can I help you? No, we just heard you talking about us and thought we might meet some of our fans. Oh please, the only fan you guys have is the fan that you sit in front of for an hour and a half trying to get your hair to look like that. Hmm, how cute. Hey, why don't you come up here? How would you like an autograph? Why would I want your autograph? You don't know? Oh, Aaron, I thought you would have at least told them about us. Aaron, what is he talking about? Destiny Prep has won the trivia competition four years in a row. Five. I hope you drown in your walk-in closet with your stupid little tweed vest and your trophies. Careful now, you might get disqualified for violating the sportsmanlike conduct clause of the honorable members of the National Trivia Society. There's a National Trivia Society? Yes, and I'm a member of it. You got a problem with that, Twig Boy? Aaron, why didn't you tell us about them? I was afraid that you would just give up at the beginning and I'd have nothing to do at lunch. Well, it doesn't matter to us anyway. We're gonna win. I hope your fan short circuits you wind blowing dweebs. Ooh, feisty. Yeah, you know what? I, I hope it's your destiny to lose. Don't crash your dad's Mercedes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Mejor dicho, encantados de patearos. Yeah, you tell him. I would roast you, but my mother says I'm not allowed to burn trash. <laughs> I would roast you, but my mom told me not to talk to strangers. And you are the Bayman Alpacas reporting for duty, sir. No, I, I say that. Okay, and who is your captain? Oh, that would be me. You're Sarah Hutchison? No, sir, I'm Aaron Wells. Okay, well, your application form says Sarah Hutchinson is captain. Who switched the applications? I assign that duty to Lieutenant Hutchinson, sir. Whoopsie daisy. What? Well, Aaron, I'm sorry, but it seems that Miss Hutchinson will have to lead your team today. Okay, let's get started. I will ask your team a question. The first person who answers it will be awarded a point for the correct answer. There will be four categories and three questions in each of them. Any questions? Yeah, how will we? Okay, great, let's get started. First question. What is the smallest bone in the human body? What is the ear? What was that? Oh, uh, it's a ding. It means I got it right. Question two. How many red blood cells are there in the human body? Um, 30,000? Yes! What was that? That is correct. Next question. What two large bones are in the forearm? The ulna and the radius. <gasps> okay. The next category is famous landmarks around the world. Question one. What is the name of the famous clock in London, England? What is the big bell? 
If you don't know the answer, then don't buzz in. What is the name of the tallest building in the world? What is the Shanghai Tower? Oh. What famous tower is located in the city of Pisa, Italy? The Leaning Tower of Pizza. Uh, I, actually, that was close enough. What was that? The next category is sports. Question one. Who was the shortest player to ever play in the NBA? Tyrone Bogues, he was 5'3", and he played as a point guard. Just the name would have been fine, but correct. <laughs> Who is the only athlete ever to play in the Super Bowl and a World Series? Deion Sanders, duh! Question number three. Who's second to Sam Snead in PGA World Tour? I don't know, no one watches golf. Jack Nicholas. That is correct. The last topic is Starbucks, a history. Wait, since when is this a category? <laughs> since the National Trivia Society decided to partner up with Starbucks to make trivia more appealing to the younger generation. God, these ads are getting more and more integrated into our lives. Question one, what city was Starbucks founded in? Seattle. <laughs> Name four limited Frappuccino flavors. Unicorn, Zombie, Midnight Mint Mocha, and S'mores. <laughs> Final question. What is the only fruit-related ingredient in the unicorn frappuccino? Yeah. Mango syrup! <laughs> Congratulations, alpacas. You scored 10 points out of 12. I'll have to run the results by the administrators, but I am fairly confident you will get to go to the finals in May. Yes! 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 Good job in there, Aaron. But you really need to study up if you want to beat those Destiny Doves. Well, uh, we've got some time, and I think that given enough practice, we'll be ready. Oh, that reminds me. We got an anonymous tip that you might be, um, cheating. What? Um, yeah, it's probably nothing, but I still need what? to check your things. It's, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be fine. Cheating? That no, was... <laughs> don't worry. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. He did really well today, though. I must say, I've only seen talent like that once before in a man named, was it Alex? Yeah, maybe. I think Rebecca was his last name. Doesn't really matter, though. Yep, he did a really great job though. I'm surprised to see. You. I, I don't know how. Aaron, these are the answers for the trivia question. N no, s someone must have planned it. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know what to do. I have to disqualify you, Aaron. I'm sorry. Did we win?